Hi guys, how's it going? And in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through fractal confirmation entries, how you can use fractal confirmation entries to your advantage, how fractal confirmation entries can increase your risk to reward, how it can increase your strike rate, and just overall how it can give you more confidence in taking a trade. So first of all, if you don't know what a confirmation entry is, for example here, if we are in a bearish trend, so we're making lower lows, lower highs, and as you can see we are coming down, essentially what's going to happen is we're going to come up, we're going to take a low, and then we are going to take a high, signaling a change of trend or a change of character, whatever you want to call it. We will then tap in to you know, a demand zone right around here, before continuing bullish in this example. So what you'll see is we have a change of character right here. So we've taken a low and then we've taken a high. And then essentially what's happened is we've come down, we've tapped into a demand zone right around here, and then we've continued bullish. But you know, what sometimes will happen is we will get a fake signal that we are going to go bullish. And then what will happen is, you know, price will just continue lower and, you know, we'll continue making lower lows and lower highs. And here is where you can get caught out by taking a lot of losses. So this is where fractal confirmation entries come in. And this is how it can, you know, increase your strike rate and just make you overall more confident in taking trades. So again, as you can see, we are coming down in a bearish trend. For example, if this is the 15 minute, what you will get is a take of the low, a take of the high. And then what you are looking for is you are looking to drop down onto a lower time frame. And then what you'll see is the lower time frame will have to become bearish in order to, you know, come back down to this demand zone, which which is created from this overall change of character. What you will then look to see is you will look to see a lower low, a lower high, a lower low, the high taken, price to trade back into, you know, the entry point right here. And there is where you can continue to the upside. So again, what you have is you have a change of character. So you have a high taken, you have this low taken you have a, a no, you know your entry point right here and then what you can do is you can get involved on the lower time frame significantly increasing your risk to reward and your strike rate and then you can ride the bullish trend after you know confirming that this trend is going to continue so what i'm going to do now is i will go into charts i will show you a quick example and just show you how you can use this to your advantage and use this to get involved in the market so coming on to EURUSD here, as you can see, we are on the 15 minute chart and what you'll see is that we have had, you know, a major break of structure right here. Uh, we have a minor pullback right here, but whether you consider that structure, that's up to you. But essentially what you are seeing is that price comes back down into, you know, this demand right here. So for example, what I'll do is I will just mark this out as, you know, a break of structure. So if we broke a structure there, what will have happened is we will break structure right here. And essentially now we are in a bearish trend because we've made a higher high, a higher low, a higher high. And then this high has come down and broken this low. So what you are um, essentially seeing here is the start of a, a bearish trend. So as I explained in the first part of the video, you know, the first break of structure isn't always a confirmation because price can come back up and take out the time. So what you can see is this level here is quite a nice level. Um, it's down towards the extreme of the 15 minute. As you can see, we've had a lovely reaction here. And just zooming in, uh, what you'll see is happening right now is we have had a 15 minute change of character. So what's happened here is we have had, you know, a very nice push to the downside. And you will not want to, you know, take a one minute entry from here because you don't want to trade against all of this momentum. You know, the likelihood of being taken out is quite high, but this is where fractal confirmation entries come in. So what's happened is we've taken this low and then we've taken the high of this inside bar right here. So essentially what's happened is we've had a 15 minute change of character. We've tapped into our 15 minute demand zone and then we have had this demand zone created right here. So we've created this demand zone What's happened is price has come out, it's traded back into the demand zone and it's continued up. So dropping down onto the one minute now, as I mentioned before, obviously the one minute will have to become bearish in order to come back to the demand zone. So let's just see what's happening now on the one minute. 
So what's happening on the one minute here is, as you can see, this is the 15 minute demand. So if I just actually just label this here, so 15 minute. So this is our 15 minute demand, which has been caused by this 15 minute change of character, which is this blue line right here. So right here, this is the 15 minute change of character. As you can see, we've traded up, traded back down. We've then had to become bearish by breaking structure. So we've broken structure right here on the one minute in order to get back to the demand zone. And then what you are looking for is another confirmation entry essentially. So we've had a change of character on the 15 minute. We've come back into our 15 minute demand zone. And this is now when we can start looking for entries. So as you can see what's happened is we're coming down making lower lows, lower highs, lower low, lower high. We've had a minor pullback here. And then what's happened here is we've taken the low. So we've taken the low and we've come up now and taken the high of this inside bar. So now we have confirmed that we are likely now to go bullish. So where can we now enter the market? Where we can enter the market now is this extreme candle right here. So you might say, you know, why don't you enter off this inside bar? Why don't you enter off this um, candle right here? So for me personally, this is the, you know, absolute extreme because this, this candle here is lower than this candle and it's lower than this candle and this candle also engulfs and these candles are both inside this one. So that's the reason I would enter off this one right here. So what you can do now is you can set your entry. So it's up to you whether you enter at the open, whether you enter at the 25%, 75%, or if you enter at the EQ. So in this example here, if you enter at the EQ, you will not be tagged. So for example, let's just say we enter at the open. What you would do is you would place your stop loss below the low. So placing your stop loss below the low, and then you can come back up to the 15 minute and just see where you want to target. So as you can see on the 15 minute, there is a huge void in price right here, a lot of imbalance that can be filled. So, you know, essentially what we could do is we could come back up to here. But keeping in mind in this example, we are basically saying we are bearish on the 15 minute. So the expectation is to, you know, put in a lower low like we have done, put in a lower high and continue, you know, the trend bearish. So you want to be mindful of that and you know you want to be mindful of that when you are choosing where to take profit so dropping down onto the one minute so what you could do is you could take you know majority of your position off at the one minute highs right here um what else you could do is coming back up to the 15 minute is you could use your premium and discount so you could use your premium and discount tool mark to the high to the low and you could also you know enter and target somewhere towards the eq so yeah, that's just how simple fractal confirmation entries need to be. Um, you know, like I said before in the start of the video, it's one way that you can confirm price is going to go in a certain direction, but it also then increases your risk to reward and also your strike rate. So that's just about it for this video, guys. If this video did provide you any value, please remember to drop a like on the video. If you have any questions, as always, drop them in the comments section down below. And without further ado, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.